Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proof of Accessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Frameworks Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 26. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about creating multiple tables using multiple migration files and also we will see about the concept of rollback and also guys if you are a beginner to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about code igniter framework tutorial basically guys in our previous video session we had seen about the same concept of creating multiple tables using but where actually we have used a single file so if i back to editor so in our previous video session guys, we has used about the migration type called sequential as well as the timestamp. So by using these two migration types, we have created two tables called students and faculties by using a single file. How basically we have created that? We have created the file something called 001 underscore db underscore tables dot php. This is the file format for sequential. So inside this file, Inside this up method, we have defined two tables schema, something called TBL students, as well as we had defined in our previous video session about faculties table. And also, we had mentioned about the same table, drop table students, and also we have added something called drop table faculties. So inside this video session guys, we are going to create multiple files called 001 underscore db underscore tables 002 underscore file names if suppose we use about sequential migration type. So if I back to slides, here we have some definition point formats. This is sequential file formats where if we suppose use this is the migration type. So in that condition we have to make file name as 001, this is the file name 002, this is the file name 003 and so on. We have to follow the procedure to create the file names. So let's say that by using the sequential file formats we are going to create let's say two tables by using two files. So if I back to editor so previously this is the file that we have made something called 001 underscore db underscore tables and this file basically creates a students table. So why actually we are not going to rename this file. So just go to migrations folder. I'm going to rename this file and let's say that this is the file and if I click on the file something called rename and instead of this let's say that tbl underscore let's say students this is the file. File itself clears that this file basically creates TPL students. So if I go at the top of this file, let's rename this file something called TBL. Let's say TBL and it will create a bar around called students table. Again I'm going to make a migration file so let's create that. So new file and let's say that 002 underscore let's say TPL something called faculties dot php this is another file which following our sequential type so if i copy all these codes from this file pasting it here only we have to change the table names to something called faculties copy the table name and write inside drop table so go at the top also we have to change the file name so this is instead of students we have to make it as faculties so basically guys we have created two files so let's say tbl students and tbl faculties. Let's do some changes in our columns format. So instead of name if I write suppose faculty underscore name again if I copy this prefix pasting it here faculty email and finally we have faculty address. Basically it indicates about the faculties table and it denotes about the students table. Let's create another migration file and this is basically let's say 003 underscore tbl let's say books dot php inside this file I'm going to copy again all the codes of this student file pasting inside the, this books file and let's say that this is books this is books and if I go at the top rename our table name so something tbl underscore this is books table and also instead of this students table we are going to make all books and also inside faculties we have something called faculties so inside books table we have something called book underscore name and this is about let's say book underscore email and finally let's say price so this will be something called book underscore price and it should be typical to integer so let's say int and it will contain about constraint 
equal to let's say 5 okay and also default value let's say default equal to something 0 so this these are the columns guys that we have defined for our books table so if I save this file also save this file so right now we have th created three tables to be migrated like students books and the faculties now go at the migration.php file just scroll down so before creating migrations of these files guys we are going to see some errors what errors basically we will get while migrating our files so just go inside migration version as we know that inside migration version we have set it as a one value again if I go to this one number file again I'm going to rename that something let's say 001 underscore TBL faculties same version I have mentioned inside these two files let's rename this also so instead of 3 I'm going to make it as 001 underscore TBL books so now all these files have their prefix something called 001 so the last file does not reflect it so again rename and let's say 001 tbl underscore books so now all we have done now so if I back to browser go here and if I type suppose and again go to database structure right now there is no table inside our learn underscore code created database so just go to browser index.php and migrate this is our controller that we have made in our previous video session if I press enter now as we can see that there is an error error is that there are multiple migrations with the same number called 001 it means that we can create one file with one version it means that inside migrations folder we have to keep something called one we have to keep 001 underscore file name only one time for a single version means we can't keep the same file with the same version multiple times inside migrations folder back to our database structure reload this page go to migrations and inside this migrations as we can see that inside version field there is zero saved because not migrated successfully so if I back to slide what we have seen so far we have seen that we can create single file per version or we have to follow the rule something called 001, 002, 003 and so on. Now back to our editor. Let's say that this is our migration version 1. Now I'm going to rename this file. Again let's say that it's 002 TBL faculties and also if I rename it this as let's say 002 three TBL students now we have three files with three different prefixes again if I back to browser just go to database and I'm going to delete that table what we have created called migrations so I'm going to drop that successfully we have dropped that there is no table inside this database go here reload this page now as we can see that file has been migrated back to our database reload this page now as we can see that inside migrations what value we have saved value 1 it means that we have currently set it as a 1 migration version and also if I back to our database right now only one single table has been created called books if I click on that this is my PHP my, ad, PHP my admin error so don't worry about that go to structure now these are the actually columns we have set inside our books migration file so back to editor go to books file now inside this file these are the columns that we actually developed now question is that we have created three migrations file called books faculties students but actually we got only one table in our database what basically reason behind this so reason is that guys actually code igniter migration works only on the version wise it means that if we have to find one version then it will actually migrate all the files of this version or lower than this version it means that if we define it as a true it means that the files with the name called 001 and 002 will be migrated if we suppose set migration version as 3 it means that 3 2 and 1 will be migrated so if we back to slides 
migration version equal to 3 it means that 001, 002 and 003 will be migrated if we set it as a 2 value it means that 001 and 002 will be migrated 3 will not so to understand properly back to our browser I'm going to delete all the tables so check all click on the drop and press yes we have dropped successfully so again if I go to editor let's change that to it means that 001 and 2 will be migrated so if I save this file and also go to migrate controller and inside this else block I'm going to write some messages after migration so let's say with an h3 tag let's say that tables are migrated so if I save this file go here reload this page now as we can see tables are migrated just go to database reload this page and as we have books and faculties have migrated back to editor now 001 indicates about the tables of book and also about faculties there is no table called students inside our database right here again if I back to editor let's change our migration version to 3 save this file back to our browser reload this page while reloading it will create all three migrations called 3, 2, 1 inside our database so reload this page tables are migrated just reload this page and all the three tables we have stored inside our database so basically guys there is simple concept we need to keep in our mind is that if we set about the higher priorities of migration version then it will create all the files or it will migrate all the files of lower versions it will basically shoot to our both migration type either it will be sequential or the timestamp so if I open a new tab let's say that higher priority timestamp will migrate all lower timestamp files so just copy and pasting it here and also there should be something all lower and equal to timestamp files this is about the migration type if we have something called timestamp also in the same way for the sequential what we have seen so far actually basically applies for that also so if I copy this pasting it here for sequential so higher priority sequential so copy pasting it here will migrate all lower and equal to let's say sequential file formats now next we need to actually discuss about the rollback condition what basically rollback is rollback basically defines about dropping tables means if suppose if you go to database we have created three tables let's say that we are going to drop this book section so how can we drop that so if I back to editor inside each and every migration file that we have made something called students books and the faculties as we have defined two methods inside this migration class like up and the down method as we have seen so far about the actions of this up method what basically this down method will do down method will actually roll back the tables from the database it means it will delete that so how can we see about the action of this down method just go to migration.php file let's change that it's something to migration version now if we go to our database as we have seen so far like 001 002 and the 003 indexes file have been migrated means we have three tables now we are going to migrate the file something called migration version 2 it means that books and the faculties will be created and the students table automatically deleted from our database so if I back to database now inside this database I'm not going to drop any of the tables right now it will automatically drop from this database so if I go here I'm going to reload that tables have been migrated it means that 
by setting migration version 2 it has created about books table and the faculties table but it will drop actually it has dropped the students table from the list so if I back to students table it has used to run this command and also drop that table if I back to database reload the structure and as we have seen that students table has deleted again if I back to editor let's set at it as 1 it means that it will delete automatically faculties table from our database so back here reload this page table are migrated reload this structure and the faculties table have gone so basically guys there is the point we need to understand that if we have set the migration version something called 3 it means that all the files of that version or the lower version will be created if we set about the migration version at the lower value it means that it automatically roll back all the tables what actually higher than that version so I thought guys by using our three video sessions of migrations I have cleared about the each concept of migration in code igniter where we had discussed about how can we create multiple tables using a single file and inside this video as we have seen about how can we create multiple tables using multiple files so if you have any query inside this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.